was also adored and respected by many of his colleagues on both sides of the aisle. And as Priscilla Casper found out today, he was also respected and loved by millions of Americans. Well, John, it was amazing to be out here today and speak with so many people, all different ages, all different backgrounds, veterans, uh, service members, so many different people. And that was something that Senator John McCain was really good at, bringing people together. And after the memorial service today, I got a chance to speak with some of them, and they told me what Senator John McCain meant to them. Senator McCain is a true American hero. Um, I'm actually not a Republican by any means, uh, but for me, the amount of service that he's done for our country, you know, the least we can do today is to honor him. We have only been in Arizona for 10 years, but we've come to understand and just admire John McCain for all of his sacrifices and everything he does for all people. John McCain was a brother. He's a brother to all of us who are in service. And we have to, we honor each other because we know what we all went through. Well, many people I spoke with say they are Democrats, but still love Senator John McCain, mostly because they say he is a real American hero and work with people across the aisle to get things done. He put serving the country before himself. Attendees tell me that this memorial service was really a celebration of his life. There were laughs and tears in this song from Frank Sinatra, My Way. They say McCain always did it his way. And another song that was played was Arizona. And John, I have to tell you, a lot of people said, that song was very fitting because they say Senator John McCain was Arizona. Yeah, and I'll also end the service with the song My Way by Frank Sinatra. And we were talking about this a bit earlier uh, this afternoon about how the Maverick really lived his life his way. Oh, of course. Yes, yeah. without a doubt. And I was also really impressed by Larry Fitzgerald, the Arizona Cardinals wide receiver. And he talked about how different those two men are, but how they still became close friends because, as he put it, John McCain didn't judge people other than by their character and their work ethic. And I thought that was, he was so amazing. He actually brought the crowd to laughs. And so many people really enjoyed that, the fact that they were so different, but again, they were best friends. Right, John McCain, a true maverick for sure. And uh, after today's service, John McCain's hearse was uh, escorted to Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport for his final flight out of Arizona. The motorcade arrived at the 161st Air Refu Refueling Wing off the Goldwater uh, National Guard Base. There was a short ceremony there with the senator's family and members of the Air National Guard and their families. The casket was then loaded onto the plane, followed by Senator McCain's family. The plane then took off to Washington, D.C., where it landed just a few hours ago. Once again, it was John McCain's final flight out of his adopted home state of Arizona. He will definitely be missed by millions of Americans. Reporting live in Phoenix, John Overall, News 4 Tucson. Back to you, Angelique. Thank you so much, John. Great job out there. Well, as John